Look how big that drop is. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> I am the double for Nightcrawler. One of the most interesting parts about doubling Nightcrawlers. Thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Stay tuned to the end of the episode to learn how to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Stuntmen React. We are here with Jesse LaFleur. He's a parkour and free running master. I've been referred to as the Tony Hawk of parkour. He has a shoe, <laughs> look at that, dude. That's <laughs> awesome. So Jesse's actually been in a couple different videos that we've made in the past. Uh, guys. Nice, nice move. Besides that, I've made a career in the stunt industry. We're gonna take a look at some clips here and Jesse's gonna hopefully shed some light on the world of dynamic movement. I'm excited. <laughs> So this is David Bell. He is essentially the creator of parkour. I like how he's not wearing a shirt so that you can tell Just he's never wearing wires. Yeah. Cause that'd kind of be like totally against the whole thing he made, right? Yeah, it's to be strong and be useful. Yeah, Boom. that right there is so classic. So fast, dude, that's so smooth. He goes, whoop, whoop, catches like right at the base, it swings him in. I love that. It's so like, I want to do that. Like, that looks so good. <laughs> dude, he's those lad that ladder so fast. <laughs> it looks like he's float, like he's, yeah. look at that. It's he just like doing this and like, <laughs> it's actually really, really sketchy. <laughs> Cause we had to climb down this super sketch ladder to get into this tunnel for the spooky short. I would like, it had the backing to it. Yeah, and I was oh, still yeah. just like, <laughs> yeah, I have to like think about like, locked exactly in, locked in, locked this. in, three points of contact at all times. <laughs> or just this. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's going like up this ladder, dude. So what's the secret to landing from a height drop like that? So the, the deep squat, but also letting your sort of quadrupedal movement, right? Like using, letting your arms dissipate some of that impact as well. So you're not just like trying to take it all. You're like bottoming out and letting the... So dispersing that force, huh? Yeah, really just dispersing it. There is something to be said about like the air flare, like rolling down the windows, whoa. <laughs> like, it, I think it's relatable to anyone. Like, you know that feeling of like, whoa, shit. Yeah. Like, you have enough time to like flail a couple times. It's like, oh. That was a drop. I think, is it, is it because like you jump and you start leaning backwards and you could do this to yeah. put yourself yeah, you're literally like a little bit? Swimming. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, like how parkour is literally invented by this guy? It just so happens that the two goons chasing him also, also <laughs> yeah, yeah. have been inventing parkour. Part of why this scene is so good is because they do tell the story of movement, right? Like if they don't have someone that understands where the danger is, where the technicalities are, they don't tell the story right and you miss like all the value in the movement. That shot coming from the angle of the roof, it's sketchy. You have this gate with spikes sticking out. Yeah. You have a death drop on the other side and he's literally jumping to a corner which if he overshoots, he's gonna go past it. Without this angle, this shot would not look nearly as cool as it does. Oh my God. <sighs> Does it help that he's landing in like thicker gravel though? Oh yeah. That material like giving way, breaking apart, like that's why the gap is like kind of doable is because it does absorb a lot of your impact. Look how much of the rocks shoot out when his legs and feet hit. I wouldn't be surprised if they added a little bit more up there when they did it. So this gap is super famous. It's called the manpower gap. And it's been done now by hundreds of parkour athletes. People have done gainers, front flips. There's now a fence they put up. Yeah. Huh. Which didn't make a difference. People still jump over it now at the fence. <laughs> so, I mean, most times I get to work on a chase scene, they show me this or <laughs> Casino Royale. They go, we want something like this. So when you saw this, Jesse, were you like, this is my calling? I mean, this and Matrix, right? Like watching Matrix, yeah. I was like, what? Free your mind. So parkour is efficiency and free running is the flips? Realistically, it was just a different name used on a documentary and then it kind of took on a life of its own in the forums. There was all these arguments about it all. But parkour is your being fast and efficient, getting from point A to point B by going over, under, or through any obstacle that's in your path. Free running is more like the self-expression of movement. You can't be a free runner if you don't do parkour. So all these 
foundational movements are needed in order to, to be a free runner in that space and, and express yourself and learn tricks and flips and all that as well. These days, everybody's got subscriptions. You got your Netflix subscription, you got your Amazon Prime subscription, you got your subscription to some weird internet service that you probably don't want to talk about. But you know what? Subscribing to our channel is free. So why not hit the button? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to jump into X-Men Apocalypse. Woo! And you are the Nightcrawler double for this. I am the double for Nightcrawler. Man, I didn't know you could teleport. It's called Bamfing. Nightcrawler! <laughs> One of the most interesting parts about doubling Nightcrawler is the actor Cody Smith McPhee, incredible dude, we're really good friends. He has some back issues. It restricts him at certain times from doing somewhat basic movements. So all of this is pretty much me. He actually did get dropped when they dump him into the scene right away. But what's crazy about this, bam, 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 bam. You're seeing puffs of smoke. What you're actually seeing is 12 or 13 different marks. I'm in a wire, I'm in a harness, you're on all these things, you're getting pulled into a line, we have 250 background actors, and then I do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Watch the movie, I did not need to do any of those. You cannot tell that I physically yeah. hit those things. The smoke is in the way, right? It's just puff, 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 yeah. puff. You can't see it, and there's a light. In hours, the we're talking about hours of me just hanging there and just getting railed into the fence <laughs> over and over again. You don't even get to see the meat or the technicality or the flight or this thing. In the movie, it's literally just puff. <laughs> like, you can. Does Jesse need to be there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they put me up there, put me against the fence, pull me back, and then had a front line where they pull me into the fence and then let a little small explosion pop, go off as if I was being electrocuted. So, boom, hitting the fence. <laughs> I mean, the most interesting stunt in this whole thing is this wrap around the pole. So when I start, there's a line pulling me under, but there's also like a limiter that's not letting me drop past a certain point. Dude, that is so That's cool. That's super cool looking. So before doing Nightcrawler, I had no wire experience. Like besides like a couple like pulls, right? But nothing like acrobatic because you're used to like, if I'm gonna do a front flip on ground, my upper body is generating the rotation to get the flip. In a wire, it's like, it's more of a balance point. So if I wanna do a front flip in a wire, it's actually like pulling my knees up, which then makes the up, my arms heavier starts to drive down, mm -hmm. and then you have to counterbalance that. It's almost as if knowing how to do a front flip is gonna make it harder for you to learn how to front flip on a line. Crazy, okay. Because you're so, your muscle memory is telling you, go like this. If you do this on a line, you're not going anywhere. Sure, like, you're literally yeah. just sitting there. Stop it quickly. Charles, wait, wait. This was the last X-Men film that just came out called Dark Phoenix. It's a steep roof. It's, it felt even steeper up there, to be honest. And the idea was that we would hold each other and then try to control each other staying into that role mm -hmm. and then drop off of the roof into a mat. When we first got there, what we had rehearsed, the mat was actually only like maybe three feet away from the roof. On the day, they go, let's make the drop eight feet, something like that. They do a camera rehearsal. And when we did it, boom, we roll down, bang. We go into the mat. And it was just like, immediately, she's like, I broke my leg. Her leg got essentially, as she came off the roof, her leg came past her this way, and we continued to go past it this way, and it just, boom, the bone sticking out of the boot. And for someone that like specializes in parkour and free running and like lives to move, you have these moments and stunts where you realize like, this is real. Like, this is, my career is, is on the line every time I do something for a film. And kind of even worse, you're like, at the end of the day, we, we have to do it again, because that wasn't on camera. She wasn't ready. She's oh. obviously going to the hospital. Her stunt career is now put on hold for however long it's gonna potentially take her to get back from that, if she's motivated enough to like fight through those injuries. That next day, they said, all right, we're doing the roof thing again. We're just gonna put so-and-so in a wig and you'll do with him. Okay, get back up there and do it again. If there are any incredible stunts that you would love to have us break down with a professional, please leave a comment below with your scene, your TV show, your movie, it doesn't matter. We'd love to take a look. It's great getting inspiration from the comments. All right, back to the clips. 
Jesse, you said you love slides, so we figured we'd show you the longest slide <laughs> ever done on film. <laughs> would you yeah. do this, Whoa. Jesse? Would you do this? This is. You've I always... remember the feeling like when I first saw this. I was like, "What?" Oh, oh my God, dude! If you go head over and yeah. you start tumbling out of control, so I saw <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> You can just clip on each one of those little ridges as he goes. That's the part that's even crazier because he can't he can't control it with his hands. And this part's nuts. Look how big the drop is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think he's not on the wire? I don't know how you would get the the running piece. That like that would not happen more than a step before you went straight to your face. I feel like he's on a wire. I don't know. I just there's no way to paint out the wire. This isn't in that era. This is all what you see is what you get. Well, there are pieces of it where I'm like, okay, it's a lot slower than I think it was. Yeah. But then there's pieces like that where you're like, he's flying. So, Jesse, as a professional, how sketchy is this? If there's no wire, it's like, it's super sketchy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just like, yeah, it's just dead. Out of like weird sliding on things experience too, like the more you do it, the faster it's getting because you're wiping all that dust away. It's almost the opposite with the glass, right? Like that filth almost slows you down. That's a very unique thing that you know about sliding on glass. Yeah, right potentially, there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about those people that go and do like the, if I screw up, I'm going to die. Crane climbers. Like... And, yeah. There's a dude, Oleg Cricket, that's like literally doing rolls on a skyscraper and barely catches his hands to like hang on and look cool as hell. And you're like, why are you, you doing this for views, man? When it's not about the death defying risk and it's more about the pushing the limit of the control and mental barriers. Like that's where the parkour side of it is. It's really about like, it's about control, where the other thing is about almost being out of control. Yeah, I'm not about that life. Hey guys, now I know you might have seen my parkour stunt reel and I gotta say, I was impressed with that myself. I thought I'd come out here and take a moment to work on my free running reel. Free running is the creative manifestation of parkour. And courtesy of today's sponsor, Squarespace, I'm gonna be showing you guys my best free running moves. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna show you how each move is representative of something that Squarespace can do for you. This first move I call L'Enchanté after Squarespace's beautiful award-winning templates that give you traffic overviews, allowing you to check your users, page views, and page trends over time. This next move I call the Double Entente after Squarespace's simultaneous posting feature. That's right, Squarespace will allow you to authenticate your social media profiles like on Twitter and Facebook and make one post on your website which simultaneously formats and posts on those other social media profiles. It's pretty incredible. This next move I call a multi after Squarespace's multiple contributors tool which allows you to give selective users selective access via your website manager. You can have one guy over there working on the marketing. You got one guy working over there on the stats. You got one guy working on the graphics. All of them can have separate permissions and access. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com slash corridor crew and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching my reel. Whoa! If you want to follow Jesse's work, you can follow him on pretty much any social media platform, right Jesse? Yeah, just Google Jesse LaFleur. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a thing or two from his videos. He's got beginner, intermediate, and advanced parkour moves. Go check it out on Instagram as well at Jesse LaFleur. Jesse, thank you for being on the show. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate dude. it. It's been an absolute pleasure. I appreciate it. Go yeah, check out man. his stuff. Yeah, keep killing it. I love this series, man. Thank you. It's been fun.